Exercises will fully train you in all operational aspects of your armor. Fully game, trainable! Including the construction and deployment of structures and units. You need to get through this stuff as quickly as possible. Because the Order and their alien buddies... What does his mouth seem like he's moving way, way too fast for what he's saying? So pay it is. Attention. That's how we do. The first thing you need to learn is how to navigate the battlefield. Your ACU offers a full view of the battlefield, including the ability to zoom in and Look, out. Look, Ma, the whole map. The and more besides. Q and w There's a coastline. To zoom in and out. Hmm. Can you expand the map out farther? Good. Yes. Exploring? Most over. missions go, here's your map, you start here, you fight. You fight, you fight, you fight, you fight. Expand the map and go, whoop. You only just step the map. You fight this way. Fight, 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 fight. Expand the battlefield. This is now the lower quarter of this map. When you're ready, move your ACU to the designated location on the map. My ACU? Warping in. Air condition unit. Yes. A powerful and robust air condition unit. All these trees, man. All them trees did not make it. This is what I meant before. It's like Pacific Rim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple moves. Yeah, cute actions. Mm -hmm. Trees are made of matter. Well done. Matter and energy are <clears throat> what we need. Huh. Your ACU is a powerful this is again just messing around, seeing how the levels work, etc. Talking over, talking about talkers over here. To and to give you guys a basic idea of what's going on. Right click on the unit you want to destroy. It's like Pacific remember, Rim. Your ACU You're not too wrong. The kaiju. <laughs> well, mecha kaiju for everyone. Attack and destroy Level the enemy options. units. Camera. I need camera. Kill the cyber. Not cyber. Excuse me. Kill the uh, aeons. By the <coughs> way, range. Yeah, range. I noticed that. Yeah. Three different ranges, though. For different weapon systems. Mm. Menu, options, interface, keys. Rotation speed. Hmm. Well, there's a key to pan the camera around, but that's not super important at the moment. Huh. The old school wheel doesn't work. Oh, it does, up and down, but uh, I want to be able to pan around some more too, you know. Shift gives you the Q. Attack this one, then attack the other one. Snaps your commander. Kind of nice. You see your task bars here detection, detection, storage. Enhancements you can build upgrades for your unit based on tiers, which actually mount on his body and socket points. So the more he destroys, the more Destroy experience he gains. No, uh, no, no. Up here, resources. We have very, very minor gain. Good job, soldier. But don't get too cocky. What the fuck was the camera control? Resources create and maintain everything you build. Mass and try all or Q or In order to have a fully yes. functioning yes. economy. You must balance Cue. how you gather and spend resources. Zooms in. This HUD element indicates how much energy you're gathering and spending, while this HUD element shows your intake of mass. If you spend more than you're bringing in, you'll have negative <laughs> it's income and it's idle. Risk of stalling your economy. Production. You've you can also uh, do a thing in this game where you can have multiple monitors within your field of view. So split the battlefield huh. into multiple perspectives you've got to keep an eye on something else. You can also, get mass also mass we killed this building. Give me back some of your, some of your minerals. Give I me them back. Three mass ah, fucking space bar. Select your ACU, click the mass extractor icon in the build UI, and then click on hmm. one of the Take back the scrap. deposits. Do this for each extractor. The mass deposits are consistent means of getting matter out. You don't need that much matter to get a lot of power. Mass extractor. Do one, two, three. And this is how we build in the future. We paint with a 3D fucking printer. <laughs> and your Supreme Commander is the fastest builder you have. Other builders are necessary, but they go by tiers. This is a mountain. The inside Black of the mountain. mountain. Black Rock Mountain. But, uh, I mean, this gives you a little itty bitty sense of scope. It's kind of when an I awkward shaped mountain, don't you think? What do you mean? Just, just look at it. You got the front part, but where's the other back half of that? I mean, shouldn't it just all... We don't know what it looks like. <clears throat> this is beyond our scope of radar. 
Huh. See? Costs energy to build. Well done. And restores a balance. You have a running events. balance, but after a while it's more about what you're spending versus what you're bringing in. Energy is collected through the use of power generators. There are three levels of power generators. There and are. Unlike mass extractors, they can be built anywhere on the map. Your orders Enormous are to construct unit. Construct two power generators. Select your ACU, click on the power generator icon in the build UI, and then click on any open location on the ground. Any open location. It could be anywhere. It could even be adjacent to a building. <laughs> Rotate on the hips. And this is the very beginnings of what I told you about at painting bases. You give the blueprint, and as long as there's resources to be done, it'll be built in that queue in that order. And right now, because they built it adjacently, the power generator is actually supplying the uh, mass extractor to be a little more efficient. And what's the other one? Also a power generator. Gotta make two of them. Now that those generators are online, you'll receive a steady stream of energy. Very twitchy video. <laughs> okay, let's start constructing an 45 per minute. Factories for engineers and tanks. Excuse me. It's like tanks, bombers, and submarines. Go ahead and build a land factory. A land factory? Unit schematics down. Well, gosh. I'm gonna build one. But in addition... I'm gonna build four more generators. You didn't tell me to. I'm just gonna do that. So that this builds a little bit faster. Huh, you're minus 25 right now. Yes, I'm losing 25 energy per second. So when I run out completely, everything grinds to a halt. Just gets really, really slow. I'm also losing matter, but if I have more generators, I'll still be a negative or positive balance. So it's economy. Large artillery takes energy. Research takes energy. Building takes energy. Huh. So it's all about well your power done, grid. Now you can start constructing an arm. Yes, you can. What can I build for now you? Now that you have a land factory, look, you can look, look. Land composite land. rally points. Left click on the factory to select it, and then click on the units you want to build. For this exercise, construct two light assault bots and two light artillery. Each time you click on a unit icon, it will be added to the factory's build queue. Schematics downloaded. Repeat. Look, 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 we made a battle bot! Oh, go, little battle Dear bot. god, that thing is tiny. Oh, it's still pretty large. There's a way to track these as well when they run, when they follow them. Zooming all the way when it stops moving. I mean, it's still probably five times the size of a man, but that tells you how big we're dealing with here. Yeah. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> so cute. And you got the artillery trucks, too, coming up behind them. <laughs> I made him, uh, you know... I've always been an asshole by making a compound rally point. Good so that's me. Now that's an arty truck. An Ain't it cool? Whoa! Whoa, boy! However, the factory has the same repeated fuel order. It will keep making them in the same sequence until I tell it to stop. You just keep shitting out a pattern of units. Huh. Formation facing. Make a control group. Made one. Now you're cooking. Factories also produce engineers, which are able to construct structures. Battlers in the, in the, in the front, artillery in the back, artillery range on the map. This is a small map. Engineers can also so what you're saying is you're doing it like a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. Exactly like a mullet. Yes. That's what the fuck's happening right now. <laughs> Making the war mullet. War mullet. Engineers from the land factory. Engineers? Well, I gotta cancel my queue. Group 2. And you can also create multiple factories. And they can make things in multiple ways. But the power grid does help supply the rest of them. Huh. So we're doing with real, real basics here. But the idea is, this makes units. This also makes other things. This is a tier 1 builder. To make some basic structures. Tier 1, 2, 3, experimental. And that's what this game's all about eventually. Land tactics, air tactics is all good shit. But experimental units, they just kind of break the mold and do their own thing. That a fella. Huh. I told you about the mobile factory, right? No. About the size of this building, huge treads, power generator, battleship cannons, and it rolls over small units, and then it just shits out up to tier 3 war tech. Reminds me of the uh, ship from uh, Gurren Logan. Yeah. When they hijack. Yep. 
Enhance. What? Can we send a camera? Bumpsy points. Roll, little buddies, roll! Let's get smash that tree. Nope. Tree made it. What's gonna happen now? Bonk. This is my bird now. now. Our generator is now under your control. Good you job. can convince things with physics. After shooting it, never know when one of those damn aliens is going to show up. So always fortify your base with defensive structures. Point defenses offer. We made some uh, some concrete plates too. That's sweet of us. A primer plate. Build a point defense at the marked location. Multiple builders can build one thing. You have an inefficient then uh, positive effect. It will get built faster. It will cost you more. We're not supposed to do this. <laughs> what is that? Oh, we're yeah. just making nine of them. Nine what, though? Turrets. Turrets, okay. We're supposed to make one. No, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it! I, I, I don't see how that quite works, but whatever. Help him. <coughs> okay, me help now. We're painting faster, together, as a family. Good. Now if you're attacked, you'll and at least have to we're burning through the chance. matter pretty quickly there? Yeah. We should well, stop. what do you know? Here come some enemy units. Good thing you built a point defense. Sure, yeah, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> How unimpressive. Yeah, I was kind of lackluster there. I was expecting like like 20 of them or something coming through. Defending Tutorial. Land -based attacks is only half the battle. You also need to be able to ward off air attacks. And knowledge is the other. Build an anti-air yes. tower at the designated spot. All right, quit building. Force group one, move out of the way. Force group two, get the tacos. You can always just command from here, if you know what the chevrons are and what they're doing. Huh. After a while, I mean, if you want to look at where the battle's happening, usually there's a no man's land and there's scorched earth and metal shells of things lying around. That's one yeah. thing. But, uh, I mean, you could always kind of look at the walls here and look at the textures and keep the little beam beam right there. Kind of reminds you of, um, Metroplex from Transformers. Yeah, it kind of does. Shit. Fucking mountains! Build faster. Aerial warfare is interesting here as well because it goes up in tiers. At first you have scouts and bombers and planes and they get gunships and heavier bombers and fighters and then sometimes they get other strange things. Like no joke UFO discs from one faction. Good job. The enemy is attacking with bombers. Now aren't you glad that you built that AA? Well, aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Ah, stupid jokes. I like bananas. I don't. You don't? Nope. Do you like banana bread? Nope. Banking! Banking! Shit! The physics are nice. Ooh, indeed. You can have all the tanks and bombers you want. But if you don't know what the enemy's up to, dink, you'll be fighting dink, with one dink, hand tied dink, behind dink, your dink, back. Dink, dink. That's why one of the <laughs> most critical parts of waging war is intelligence. <clears throat> Radar is a critical component in gathering intel on your enemies. Oh, it is. Build one now at the designated location. Sir, that's far beyond our defensible position! It's not a very big island. Nope, but the map did expand. It did. Uh, there's a quick button for engineers, I believe. Idle factories, idle engineers, there we go. Can you? Yes, you can. Bonk. You? Why not? The hell is that? What? Those just move them all over the place? Oh, I'm building three uh, ground defenses and two air defenses. Ah, okay. Doing them up from up here while the engineers roll forward. Yeah, man. Sustainability? Oh, Fuck sustainability. Trees. 
A little late uh, falling effect there, don't you think? Nah, it's appropriate. We have another mass extractor up here. Let's go ahead and flank our position here. One, two. I could have sworn I could press F to focus. Find someone to just keep, keep track in the same unit. Oh, we're discovered. I play this game every few years. Hmm. Now you can keep tabs on the enemy. Good work. And my radar reaches beyond my map. Your radar has oh no, almost. The existence of a small order base. Build up an army and destroy that base. Ein Schmoll base? Very well. We'll use ground forces for this. This factory will shit battle bots. However, our commander will construct a second factory. No, he will not because he's busy. The engineers will construct a second land factory. And before the factory is even finished... Oh yeah, they're stripping out the trees to make the foundation buildable. To create more matter. Which is wasted if there's not enough storage. Ready, set, go. Before the factory is even finished, I can tell what to do. That is amaze balls. That is unique. I've never seen that before in games. Normally you have to wait. Yep. Construction complete. And shifting blueprints, you know, kind of useful as well. Once things start getting built, that's one thing, but when it's still in the planning phase, a lot of versatility is available. Look, 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 scatterbots. Oh, and the tier one units die quick to each other. Like, it's almost pitiful. The job is to get a picket line going and then build something more formidable as you go. Wipe out that enemy base, Commander. Now we do have control groups, but we also have type selection. So right now I'm going to select all the artillery there is and say move right here. Following which, Oops, shell all that your base. Matter. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm in deficit. What I can also do, tell the commander matter, there's a key to zoom to him. Yep, see, building is slowing down. Hmm, that was a way to cancel the previous order. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Doing that wrong. Back first, delete. And then if you have multiple types of units, they'll just kind of get into a cloud first, and then the formation will move outwards. Hmm. Let's get one of the engineers off the project and start <clears throat> scrapping some trees. I think there's a button for saying reclaim or harvest. Capture and repair. Yeah, so if it's within radius, it'll just kind of work away. All right, gun wagons. Await picket infantry. Picket infantry, form a perimeter, or at least a forward line. <laughs> Back up and then sweep forward. And what I was uh, concerned about, Mr. Coyne, is that you wouldn't like this because it's not having to do with history. Enemy base destroyed. Get but the formidable tactics in display, like the, the the potential for these tactics, pretty solid. Yeah. Gun wagons. Do your thing. I guess it's not history, but more background knowledge, more uh, or story. Fine. Yeah, I mean, there's an existing yeah. space war opera plot here. But for the most part, it's we we like ourselves and nobody else. Yeah, airburst shells. Let's get up there and see. Okay, that's down. Um, how about the rest? Here we go. Hmm. I guess there are sensors in the shells, so you can see where they're hitting. Hmm. On the mark. I love seeing order units burn. Great job, Commander. If you've done your homework, you know that most ops will take place on massive battlefields. Transports are the most effective way of moving units across vast distances. There are multiple ways to use transports, so check your field manual. For the purposes of this exercise, we're only going to cover basic use. We've given you a transport. That was just the basics? That was just the basics. 
This is super basic. Select the units you We're not able to nuke fights right yet. Click on the transport. Once the transport is full, select it, click the transport icon, and then the spot on the map where we just go around this way. Bring a navy around and bomb our little base. I mean, where's our, where are our defenses? A little bit of air, a little bit of ground, a little bit up here, and that's it. Controlling the rest of the world? Hard. Oh shit. Carry alls. Back from Dune. Sort of. Bring these mans over here. So what we're gonna do is set a ferry point. I talked about this earlier. The ferry is to here. So they're not up in the air and ready. And I really like this design too. Like you have a command point and you have the rear section and the rest is all just a mag rail. But I tell my boys these uh, tier 3 combat mechs with their shielding and their rail fuck guns. Holy shit. Yeah, a little bit different than the tier 1's that I just built. It's time to suit up and get to the rally point. Now what does that do? They find the nearest available transport, which I have provided. Once it's full, the transport knows, okay, there's dudes. Let's bring them to where they're supposed to go. So they're stuck with the transport the whole time? Nope. When they get dropped off, because they get ferried, they get to that point. And remember what I told you a while ago? You can queue the factories to lead into the ferry points. So you can get a transport network going as you're managing the floor at the front. The rear echelons keep on moving up. Like, it's it's a logistical wet dream. Now you know the basics of transports. Good job. Well, no, the basics are, get on here, now move here. Picking up a large Automation. border base to the north. Legs We're broken. sending you reinforcements. Add them to your attack force and erase that enemy base. <laughs> Cancel the ferry point. Move here and wait. Stay away. What's going on here? There's oh. a beach. Oh, baby, there's something in the background there. Like the game with full retard. Nah, just nope. bad camera angle. What's coming up? More reinforcements. More forcements, even. What are you? You are a mobile missile platform. This is a higher tier artillery weapon. Looks pretty mean, huh? Yeah. Let's see what it do. What's your range? Oh. What's your range? Oh. What's so, that thing in the corner? Enemy base? Nope. Left. This? Matter extractor. Oh. How the hell did it get there? Uh, the game said you have one now. <laughs> Next surprise you get this. This is a armored assault bar. Sure. Move up. Support. Move up. Support. Oh yeah, the game just said you have more stuff to play with if you want to. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is actually uh, the heavier transport is a beefy beast. But we could just land this in the base and flatten it. To be honest with you. Oh, missiles away! Missiles away! You can trace them on the map when they fire. Do it again. Move into the circles overlap. This is the boring view, but this is actually exactly what coins all about. The tactical war view. <laughs> the blue blocks Order took the out the gray block. Yes. I don't gray. know what the fuck it is, but that blue block just sure fucked up that gray block. <laughs> yeah. When you have basically intercontinental artillery, just watch the dots fly. So what you're telling me, this it, what this becomes is, um, what is it? Space invaders. Little uh, spare. Yes. The the more high tech you go, the more it's just back to Ender Wiggins' little doctor. <laughs> little dots being wiped out of the sky. Support advance! My assault line. Yeah, no chance. No. None. Attack, attack, attack. Push through. And they're physically larger than the defending forces. Oh shit, sorry. Not exactly my best camera work here. Something's appearing! Enemy commander! No! Destroy the enemy commander. We're, we shouldn't be this close, kids. Scratch That's why. One scumbag. Holy shit. I love seeing order commanders going up like that. Losing half of your fucking squad, too. Yes. But hey, good news. Troops are cheap. 
So that's a first peek. Do you guys want to see a skirmish? No, I'll save that to the next video for this. But you are you intrigued? I am intrigued. There you go. That was the point of this. Chucks, yes. you want to see more? Yes. Oh, like you want to see, see more? more? Oh yeah. Definitely. I think we should I see like more behind him with him behind it. No, no. After you watch after a little a bit of practice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'd like to see him behind it, but he's got to do it in the square plague, and he's got to like explain it like an old uh, John Madden highlight reel when he's explaining touchdowns. A bunch of X's and O's like, you gotta go here. And he was going to the right when I was just shooting straight to the middle and then yeah, he transports But how does this involve app? Brett Favre? Hey, he's got a point. So Br Brett Favre. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen the uh, SNL skit where they do Monday Night Football and they have O.J. Simpson because he was a commentator for a long time. And he's sitting there and he's like, first you have the guy who runs up the middle like this and he blocks right here. Now, I started back here, and at the end of it, he spells, I did it. And they're like, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, OJ, do, do you realize what you did? I did? Yeah, I just explained the whole how the whole thing worked. He's like, y yeah. Ooh, chess. You like mods, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing but time. Mass and energy mean nothing. <laughs> Curious. Nice modifiers. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, just to close, basically, the, the Forged Alliance is an expansion pack, a standalone pack for the main game. The main game has a campaign that involves all three factions. It's nice and long and steady and I big old campaigns. unfold. And you'll love this one. Um, the Forged Alliance campaign is saying, listen, you've seen all the toys. Mission number one, in fact, just, just briefly, let's do the first mission. Okay. By do, I mean start. Pretend you're a new player, okay? You are a new player. We're going to skip by a lot of the stuff. Sure. Just launch it. Just this. This is this is the normal experience, right? You're new to the game. Mission one. Let's see what they expect of you. The say no. Blow up a bridge Graphics. with a horse and seven people. This is Graphics. one of the two enemy bases in the area. Blow them both back to the Stone Age. And oh, they're fine. Don't you be no, The graphics are great. I mean, I'm like, wow. There's a line of enemy artillery protecting the bases. They are targets of opportunity. But if you destroy them, it'll make your life a hell of a lot easier. It's like John Madden's brother. Yeah. Jim Once Madden. You deal with the primary base well, they... Ah, hell. Enemy gunships are inbound. It's time to get you down there while we still can. Damn it, they're attacking the gate. Get on planet while you still can. The Reds. You can choose any one of your factions. We're, we're past that is squabbles now. The enemy is coming. It's just united, right? Basically. I mean, some mistrust, sure, but like... Any okay. special features, abilities... Welcome to game! Um, this is where the map starts. Bet your bottom dollar's not going to stay there. I thought you guys would be busy changing the water in Dragman's brain tank. Ignore him, Commander. Concentrate on the battle ahead. Dostja out! Yeah, it's just uh, it's like uh, Stalingrad. Yeah, just it's get great. some boats going, you Russian cross accent. the river. You got American accent. Is it trying to tell you something in this game? Yes. The damage shield generator will help protect you from hostile fire. I mean, are you intimidated or are you excited? It's a little intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. But I'm pretty sure once I pick it up, it'll be easy. Naval factory. Nice. I mean, Not I did get the angle, you know, Age of Empires, so this is like that times 300. So slow practice. How do you build those columns? Hmm? Well, the answer is you paint, as divers. you always do. Yeah. <laughs> We're hiring commercial deep sea divers. Like the little midget things that are scanning everything over there. Build drones. Laser build. This is a different faction. Their methods are a little bit different as well. But it feels uh, like somebody was playing this game and was really into techno light rays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look at your commander, Edge Lord. It's a game. Edge Lord to, to the max. Ecstasy. Oh, and also we talked about upgrades. You can build different modules on yourself, which you can't see yet because mission one. It's kind of weird. It's like, well, here's the basics, but here's an amazing super unit. Also submarines. Nice. The uh, the blue faction has an experimental subcarrier. Anti air attack sub. And a floating engineer. Fantastic. And if we're paying attention, I would try to defend this and repair the air, but we're not. We're just just messing around a little bit here. Can I control these? I can not. They're just helpers. 
Not my units. The other faction. Yep. You, make it go faster. Make the boat go faster. So you're just trying to build up your units, defend yourself at the same time, and then yep. try to know what the hell you're doing. Control your power base, your resources. Uh, build do your infrastructure. Your, build your infrastructure, create a standing force, contain the enemy, push forward. Right. Battlefield expands, you realize you're nowhere near where the fighting's going to be. You push your forces forward, make that FOB. A lot of objectives in the first 10 seconds. Huge. I mean, the main game starts off pretty slow. It's a slow roll. They made a sequel to this. People were really upset with yeah. Subcom 2 is more about tech trees and feeling cool with neat, neato units. But the economy itself was simplified and the aesthetics right. changed. It just meant looks more than yeah. gameplay. Just was not as well beloved or as long standing as the original game. Shit. <laughs> the mouse wheel is not my friend. Hmm. When it comes to this. But check out this boat though! That is pretty cool. That is a pretty badass boat. Edgelord boat. Anti air boat. Well, keep I, I like this. 3,000 years and they still haven't been able to update radar. <laughs> <laughs> nope, one <laughs> retro. We're about to get our sub too. Just like a U-boat, right? Same deal. Yeah. Oh shit, something blew up. Something blew up. Was it my boat? Nope. Oh. No. Radar says there's bogeys. Dogfight. I think I'm thinking of the sequel where I had a tracking camera. We just kind of scout with the fighters. I do have Homeworld Remastered Edition, which I still haven't replayed since I played it when I was a teen. I was terrible at the game. But if you like Company of Heroes, well... The folks who made that started their strategy shit with a full 3D space game, where zooming out like this, you can hold down a key, and when I pivot like that, the command plane is 3D. Isn't it? It yeah, is on Steam. I think I've seen it. Come on, sub! You are a slow-ass sub. Having all the help in the world building you. No dice. What's up here? I think moving back and forth doesn't seem really helpful. Is it shooting anything? Nope, not yet. I think they have stats for these as well. Okay, no it is. It's bombing my freight! No! My naval yard! So, uh, important to note, you can also build anti-air defenses in the Zivata. How, they just how get a floating platform. The hell, how does that work? Science. Listen here, Bill Nye, I don't need none of that shit. Get out of here with that. Now, what's important to understand with a floating cyber platform is that it uses a quantum state tethered particle to keep it above the water. There's no tension involved in the first place. It's really quite novel. It's quite ingenious. Let's see if we can get our sub into trouble. It looks heavy duty than the rest. Those are torpedo stations, so if our sub meets, uh, meets opposition, we're in trouble. Coin! It rises! Yeah, it's finally alive. And of course, different armament. Surface gun versus uh, torpedo tube. That's awesome. What's gonna happen over here? Oh, dive, dive, dive! Limited range while he's underneath. Yep, but they also have depth charges. The air, wow. So yeah, you can tell if you're not really paying attention, after a while this gets worn down. But speaking of air, we can make face hugger transports. Everything just looks cool. I mean, you play the game bad by watching the cool shit happen. You play it well by saying, yeah, whatever, you're up here. You're all up in the brain box. They're well fortified. They got oh, their full ship just force sank. coming. And oh, shit. Yeah. No, my cool boat, though. We'll see if it didn't use technology from, like, you know, 1940 for radar. Maybe it might have done a little better. It might have. Alas, poor little ship, I, I, I did not treat you well. As a so it seems like in the beginning of the game you need to do a lot of air defense, and that way you have enough defense in to... In this scenario, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's just, I don't know, enemies up there somewhere, go find out. And then you poke the bear, and suddenly, oh, um, they're coming. Did you get this built yet? You didn't. Do you want to go back to a previous save? And build this? I mean, that is just fucking imposing, guys, come on. Giant yeah. space hand scorpion transport. I was going to say shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah. Giant shrimp. Murder crawfish. It's a crawdad. Crawdad. 
Come up here, little engineer. I'm gonna pick you up. Could I force the defending forces to come up here? I compel you! Get on me! Nope. Learning as fuck. No! It also kind of looks like the uh, hand uh, baby things from Tenfold. Alien. Alien vs. Predator. Yeah. With the way the hand yeah, thing comes the, out. The, the face hugger is what I've been yeah. saying this whole time? Mm -hmm. That? Yeah. yeah yes, I, I agree. I agree that you agree with the two guys, that I agree. Yeah, you know, kind of just busy watching the game here, not 100% listening. Kind of in. Taking it all in? Oh, yeah. Make a patrol. <laughs> patrol initiated. Where's the face hugger going? Why does it look like a giant boob with the lopsided nipple with that red thing in the middle? Uh, it does. Kind of look at it. No, look at it. No, no, not that. So if you click back on that. See? Yeah. <laughs> the things you notice, man. So this would be, if we're pursuing this mission, which we're not at the moment, you could drop them off right here. Thunk. And the NG could make a land factory. And the land factory would start making units right here to attack the enemy. But I'm assuming an air pass is going to take them out. But you get it. Like, you just objective over here, deal with it somehow. You could build up your tech level and then make a big artillery gun and say, aha, shell, 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 shell. And you go, I win! And then the map expands and you go, fuck, can I slag these? Can I convert them? Go after it! Get it! Get it! Yeah! Sploosh! Oh, didn't see it. But yeah, you just sick an air fighter up here and take him on. However, I believe there's also fuel mechanics, so eventually they gotta go back to base and get serviced. Although but I you don't lose them, you don't have to rebuild them or anything, right? Uh, no, 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 no. They just get decommissioned for a bit. But this already helps. One interceptor against patrols who aren't expecting them is a great help. Huh. So I haven't been attacked yet. Excuse me. And of course, everything will make is edgy and spider-like. Mm. This does, however, you mentioned Command and Conquer earlier on, this reminds you a lot of Nod. The Hand of Nod. Red and black! The, the power for peace! Technology of the future! Very vibrant colors. Only one I played was uh, one for 64. I think me and you have talked about that game. <laughs> it amazes me. Uh, the rarity of the things that you play. And thinking, yeah, this is the series, right? Yeah, sort of. Look at this little derp walk. Little it kind of looks walk. like the uh, bug from uh, Starship Troopers. A little bit. Huh? You suppose they have ground defenses up here? Yes. Or were they all about the air defense? Air, I think. Right. Yeah. Uh, Still did not <laughs> account <laughs> for altitude. <laughs> <laughs> However, we do have Artie. Is that the anti-air? That is the anti-air. It's okay. Gun truck is coming. <laughs> Gun truck! Help! The anticipation of coming into range and going, Yeah, what are you going to do, boy? What are you going to do? Thump. Oh, <laughs> counter artillery. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Where are the shells? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Shooting him. A ah. little bit of miss. Look at that turret. I mean, I'm threatened. Uh, so that position is shelling us back. That's almost cute. Paradoxically so. Yeah. Okay. Bomb rush. Oh, they have responded. They've begun to respond. Oh. Our assault bots wow. are not in the same league as them. Oh. There goes that assault. Yep. But again, that's the same. Okay, well, I got a little factory. Not Two enough. hours later. Rush them. Three more assaults. So, there you have it. A nice look at Supreme Commander Forge Alliance, the updated and fan-beloved version. I'm pretty sure you can find mods for this shit, too. Like, total Star Wars conversions and everything. Yeah. I think you'd dig that. Good platform, very robust, and I hope you liked what you saw, because we might do some more. Browbeat. I'm Nutchucks. Coin Beaner. See you next time. Yep.